Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and gearing up for this pulsating Liga Portugal match. It's Porto facing Braga. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Marcano plays alongside Pepe in central defence, and the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it looks to be the same system here, so it's just a case of which team presses the ball better and which team can get their wide players into more advanced areas. There are some good matchups here. And so the battle commences. Uribe. They've lost it. Ricardo Orta. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Evan Nilsson. Opportunity it is. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And over comes the corner. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Now, was that the denial of a goal-scoring opportunity? It falls on the referee to decide. Well, only a yellow card, but was there a case for a red one, Stuart? Well, maybe so. I think he's got a bit lucky there. I think he stopped a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. 
It's a fantastic save. Oh, yes! 1-0 it is! And it doesn't come as a huge surprise! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again here, one nil the score. And he's won the ball. Ricardo Orta. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And taken short. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. Mehdi Karami. Otavio now. See a room in the wide area. The delivery. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Yuri Medeiros. And can they create something? And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Can't miss, surely. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And played short. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Short corner favoured. Andre Orta and blocked for now. Well, Porto haven't been able to dominate the possession, as those stats tell us. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter attack quickly. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. This might be ideal for the counter. Ricardo Orta, oh good vision, well what an opportunity squandered, far too easy for the keeper. So getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Oh he can score here Derek. And that goes down as an effort that he's not going to be remembering fondly. Mehdi Karami. Can he convert? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. <whistles> Taken short. 
He takes aim. And the danger's still on. Oh, good work by the keeper. And the short option preferred. Giving it a try. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Keen to take it short here. Firing it towards goal. Making sure it didn't get past him. Bruma. Andre Orta with it. Well, they have the ball once more. Being egged on by the crowd. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And the match is underway. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Possession one. Good technique displayed. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. a quality pass magnificent defending and the attack fades out Evan Nilsson and given away Well, can they be creative from here? And delivered into the box. It might still be problematic. Must be! Oh, great block. They won't complain about having won the corner. And maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Played over, and in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. Now, what can they do from here? Real chance, and fine goalkeeping. So two substitutes to come on in one go.
Not a short corner here. And a throw in forthcoming. Vitor Tormena. It's with Sequeira. Couldn't keep it. Pepe. Andre Orta. Perfect tackle. Victor Gomez. He might be able to profit from the wide position. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point. And I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. An alert piece of defending. And a useful cross. Well cleared away. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. for technique but just wide well he struck the ball so cleanly didn't he that was such a good effort well they are committed to making the substitution here <laughs> 10 minutes to go then Plenty of support here. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. This is looking threatening. PZ! Oh, that's a fine save. So making the substitution now. Corner kick played in. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Galeno. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? The ball rolling again at 2-0. Excellent 
excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Now well, play stopped, it is a free kick. Just made sure nothing came of that. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Andre Orta. Banza. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding. And so the match is underway.